surprised Michael Ojemudia didn't make the team. Yeah, he was somebody who he got a little cooked in practice, but he didn't end up. Uh, he ended up getting cut today as well. And then I mean, listen, Travis Gibson was my other one, um, but he has requested a trade. Travis Gibson won out. Travis Gibson, I I I don't know what the situation is with him. That that works. I'll be honest; it didn't look like he was going to make the team. Yeah, I mean, like, but but he's better than Dominic Robinson. He's been better than Dominic Robinson. And apparently he wants to play in a different defense. He's a good player. I, if that, I'm not, nobody's crying. Can we get a fifth round? <laughs> <laughs> well, I just, I, I'm not, I'm not upset about a shout out to Samurai J said 200 people, 50 likes. Come on. Y'all we better than that. 25% shout out to Samurai J always showing love. I, I'm, I, I, Travis Gibson wanting out, I guess, makes sense from the sense of where he is on the depth chart. My question, yeah, Mark, yeah. is why is he there on the depth chart? Mm, he's mm-hmm. better than Dominique Robinson. Mm-hmm. Maybe not better than Terrell Lewis, but, I mean, he's a guy that puts his hand in the dirt. So you got a chance He can to get see. to the quarterback. Maybe, then maybe it's in a situation what did you see in like with Tevin. Like there's a- Practice, he looked good. Practice, Gibson he looks looked good. good. In the games, he's looked good. I, it, it's, it feels like literally a situation of you, you weren't our guy. We're not gonna pay you. That's what I'm saying. I think it's we're a, not gonna pay you. A, what was he looking for? He's probably looking. I mean, he's with Clutch. You never know. All right. <laughs> Thirty-six million dollars a year. You never know, bro. If he want a gazillion dollars, you know that's what that's what they all want at Clutch Sports at this point. But I just I I feel like right even with I get him asking out because to me Demarcus Walker fine Yannick Ngakwe of course Dominique Robinson I don't get it Rasheem Green I don't get it. Travis Gibson's better than Rasheem Green. That's According to several people in the chat, he wanted out because of scheme fit, which yeah. I have to say, I have to listen. You have to know what you're good at and, and, and know your strengths. If that's what it is, I respect the player for being upfront about that. But here's the thing. But he was going to get cut anyway. But his, right. No, he was going to make the well, team. That's why you got to ask for the trade. He was going to make the team. He was going to make the team. Gotcha. Right? So, But here's the thing. As far as scheme fit goes – he fits as far as somebody who can rush the passer from the edge. No matter what, we're going to be – I don't care if it's 3-4, three, 4-3. Four, four, three. He's got his hand in the dirt. We're rushing four. Yeah. At no point has Travis Gibson been a stand-up player. He's, well, a, he's a glue guy. He's a, go ahead, Jordan. No, I was just going to say, so with some with some numbers, in 2021 when Sean Desai was out of here, he got replaced by Chuck Pagano. Uh, Gibson had his best year. Yeah. You know, with seven tackles for loss and seven sacks in that three four scheme. So Ooh, now we don't run Sean that. Desai. He was god. Yeah, <laughs> I, I ain't gonna. I thought I thought he was gonna be better than what he was. <laughs> I thought he was gonna be better than what he was. It's usually, a carbon <laughs> copy never really works. Oh my god! From, from but but he up. he had the four. Now they're in the four three defense, and now he's he's struggling. So he just made one out because he wants to fit in somewhere where he can actually thrive. But I think I I don't think the struggles are right. Like are the struggles. Because he was, he wants to go be number one somewhere. I think the struggles are he's he was the number one. There was nobody opposite of him, hmm, right? Like, not. listen, if I'm coming in and I got Yannick and Gakwe on the other side, yes, he is going to be. Now, maybe he just wants to be the starting guy. Hmm. He's going to be behind uh, uh, Demarcus Walker, no matter what. This is going to be the nerd in me. I want to see the incentives on his contract. The incentives of his contract will actually, and you look at his stats. That's that'll probably. tell you why he wants to be out. To go from seven sacks last season to three this season, and they're using what you less, and they usually so it depends on you know you look at his tackles. Everything went down. Well, I mean, listen, that, no, and of course, no, last did, right? year, last year is because he played poorly. It has nothing to do with with playing time. He's the only defensive end on the team that that they were sending. Yeah. So like last year is just, but that's the thing. He was the only one. I would think this year you try to benefit from the fact that I'm standing opposite Yannick and Gakwe four or five times. I don't think he's going to get seven sacks. 11 Look, QB hits. Can can, can I get situation. a fifth round pick? Just give me some picks. For him, I'll give you a fifth round pick. <laughs> <laughs> for him, I'll allow you to have a fifth round pick. What's with this fifth yeah, round I mean, pick, dog? Well, well, he, he, want a, he wants a fourth for Mooney. Yeah, for I mean, Mooney he wants a fourth for Mooney. Fifth, yeah. Yeah. <laughs> oh, you know what? <laughs> See, I got my GM hat on. Who was <laughs> capping and said that uh, Mooney had a better career than uh, Chase Claypool? The whole chat. Okay. And Joe. 
I, because I, yards are more important than touchdowns. I didn't say that. I just said he had more <laughs> you, you yards. Did say, you did say yards are more important than touchdowns. I did not say that. Yeah, I you, just said I wanted to know how many yards did he have more. Yeah. I did not say he was better. But I just wanted to – I said he didn't was better he, because of the yards. Yeah, I did not <laughs> say that. That's what hey, I how heard. How many touchdowns? <laughs> How many times that was it? Uh, selective. Yeah. <laughs> Things go in. Don't always you know, stirs around and comes back out. Oh, okay. All right. <laughs> I thought. I thought that's. I thought that's what I heard. Ain't that what the chat heard? <laughs> that's what I heard. Yards are better than touchdowns. I did not so say ten that. Touchdowns, ten touchdowns versus Chase's. How many? Twelve. Chase has twelve. Oh, we'll see. There you go. What? What did he say? He said ten, 10 touchdowns versus, versus Chase's. How many? I said Chase has twelve. Yeah. All I was saying now. Granted, was... they both spent the same amount of time on the field uh, last season, so you know what I mean. There's that. <laughs> How many did uh, Chase get last season? Uh, two, maybe, because okay. he's splitting time in both yeah, spots. Yeah, he didn't do anything. Gotcha. He didn't do nothing when he came here. I think he had two before he left uh, whatchamacallit. No, I just – I don't know, man. Like, I, I look at the Travis situation, right? It's not the end of the world if the Bears do end up trading him, but I think it goes back to the Darnell Mooney conversation, right, of, you know, can you afford to remove talent? Can you afford to get rid of talent? Can you afford to let guys walk? Yes, for a draft pick that may come in, but – Travis Gibbs, like, you can't be so stuck to your plan that you're blinded by the players that haven't pr- produced. Yeah. Dominique Robinson's not good. Like, maybe he will become good. Maybe he will get good. Maybe he will figure something out. Something will be unlocked. But outside of one game versus Trent Williams, like, I can't hold on to just that. That was week one in the in a torrential downpour, and he figured out every time he lifts his left foot, that means it's a pass play. I can get to the quarterback. Great. You dominated. You <laughs> cooked. I didn't hear from you for the next 17, 16 games. Yeah, yeah, yeah. <laughs> and I haven't heard from you in three weeks of uh of preseason football. I don't know, man. I maybe, maybe there's something scheme wise, right? Maybe that's a preseason situation. He's getting the Justin Fields treatment on the defensive side. Scheme wise, they're gonna use this guy to fly around the field, and, and we just not seeing it because they run a vanilla defenses. I'll be honest with you, we are not that type of team, or we have not earned the right. Every to sit team there does that. Every team. No, not every team. Literally every team. Not every team. <laughs> Literally every not every team. Sixty percent of the time. It works. <laughs> every time. Every time. <laughs> this, this is not this is not NBA hey, preseason. But but boy, no. like, every team, no one's running anything. No, I mean, get, I, I'm not saying run out your whole playbook. I'm just saying, like, nobody's even running. Like, most months aren't even running past their script. The Packers ran their script. Yeah, I hope not. The Packers ran their script. I hope. Well, I hope so. Well, they're trying to get they're trying so. to get uh, uh, what's his name ingratiated to it, right? So they're they're running their script to get him used to it. So the, when he goes in, I feel like that's a double season, edged sword, you know? It's, it's a double edged sword cause, but because it's like the teams know what you're going to run at this point, but at the same time, your guy well, gets more reps. Their their system hasn't changed. Yeah, for the most part. But here's here's the biggest to me the biggest difference. Uh, and they got Clements, but to me the biggest difference with uh, uh, Jordan Love is uh, great. He can, he can run the system. I want to see what you can do after the. Or he can run the the script. I want to see what you can do after the script is done. Mm-hmm. Mitch could run the script. Remember first first drive mm-hmm. every game, Bears flying down the field. Oh, the offense is thriving. Here we go. No, they sat there and practiced those plays to to no end, and so he was able to play. He was able to run them, and everything lined up perfectly. And then when the defense adjusted, what you gonna do then? That's what I want to see. Now I also want to see the Bears defense adjust. But uh, <laughs> I think I think uh, you know we didn't get to the uh, Bajent stuff. Bajent went in the backup spot. Shout out to. To Tyson Bajan. Shout out to my man out there. He looked like a real QB. I will say this. Hey, quick, got the sleeve going quick on. Thing, got some drip quick going thing on. Before, check, him, check him out. Bro. Quick <laughs> thing before we get up out of here, right? Quick thing before we get up out of here on this. This is a move that is a, the difference in the Chicago Bears organization. What you mean? Previous regimes, previous uh, uh, head coaches, all of that, right? They'd have kept PJ here. Yeah, because Facts. he's the savvy vet. I can't trust what this young guy's gonna do. I can't trust how this young guy's gonna play. And I can't trust, now. right? Like, like that's that's what the veterans do. Yeah, you, experience that's what, that's what the experience weighs yeah. more than what we saw on the field. The Bears looked at what they saw on the field and they said, "Experience, be you know what? I, I have that. You showed me nothing. You had a good game at the end of the game. Tyson's been doing this the entire time. I can't. Not only can I not keep you around because I wanted to let you have the opportunity to go get another job mm-hmm. somewhere else mm-hmm. as a backup, but I can't keep you around because you're not giving me anything. You're not influencing me anything. So mm. we're going to cut bait with you. Two million bucks in your pocket to basically do nothing. Go have a great life, and we'll see you later. Previous regimes would not have done that. 
That is growth to me. That's something small, something subtle, something where I wish it happened to Bayless Jones. But previous regimes would not have made that move to me. And I, and I like that the Bears are willing to do that to this point. It, it tells me that it, we're not sitting here dealing with Virginia's Bears anymore. But they're not going to lose anything doing that. You still got Peterman there who looked pretty decent in the yeah, one right, little right, time right. he had. Yeah, Bajan, like, Bajan, it looks that. like a good, strong number two. And you, you got the, the one you're working on now in, in Justin Fields. Steve-O said Peterman or PJ about to be on the Montana Dragons. <laughs> <laughs> hey, he might go back to Carolina. Dog, they need help. To back up Bryce? They need help. I would see, I ain't gonna lie to you. You know where I would see if, if I could sign? Tampa Bay. Mm-mm. Baker got that job, but I feel like that's an opportunity. Uh, he gonna lose it quick. He's yeah. is, no. he not gonna lose it because apparently Kyle Trash just didn't pan out. I don't know. I thought I wanted Kyle Trash. <laughs> I thought to be Kyle good. was gonna. Yeah, be, I thought he was gonna Kyle be cold, nice bro. We got a year behind the goat. He, yeah. he was the highest man candidate. I thought that boy was gonna be yeah. cold, bro. Hey, and then you got the goat who's going to retire. I would have been sitting there learning everything. Bro. Hey, Tom, I'm carrying everything. What you need? Like, no, I would have learned everything. Kyle everything you carrying everything. For everything. Oh, get the. <laughs> <laughs> hey, uh, appreciate you guys for tuning in to get another episode here, of the Windy City Breeze. Uh, Arizona is hiring. He could go be the starter in Arizona, Dang there. Uh, hit that like button. Subscribe to the page if you have not done show. <laughs> really? Done so. Hit the bell as well so you get notified every time we go live. We go live Monday through Friday, usually around six o'clock ish. But every now and then we uh we we throw a little wrinkle in that mug. Maybe go a little bit early if we got stuff going on. But. Uh, Outside of that, you know, I mean, I mean, listen, I'm I'm doing some big things out here on the ESPN side. So I gotta, Shout I, out to my I be boy. having some stuff going Shout on. To my yeah, boy I mean, over here, I be having some yeah, stuff going on sometimes. Boy. Okay. Yeah, maybe a little much. Uh, <laughs> hey, man, as always, it's your boy Pat the Designer back at it again. Hit that like button, subscribe to the page. Like I said, y'all stay safe out there, Chicago. We'll see y'all tomorrow. Bear down, peace.